I think everybody knows that the hip rotation in a golf swing is very important, and it's no less important in the power swing. What I find, however, is the majority of golfers haven't really understood what a hip rotation is or how they make a hip rotation. A hip rotation for the majority of golfers is more of a twist. They're trying to move around a central axis. That means that the left hip moves in one direction where the right hip moves in the other direction, and this is wrong. When you're moving your hips, you can only really move them around one foot or the other without losing contact to the ground. That means that in the backswing, I'm leaving my right hip where it is and rotating my left hip outwards. I then push this hip back before the right hip comes forward. So it's a little bit similar to a door. The door has one axis. You open the door to the left, close the door, and first when the door has actually gone past its starting position, should the right side of the door change and come forward. Open, close, open from the other side. If you understand that, you're getting closer to a position where you can actually keep your bum back in the golf swing and stop it from moving forward into the golf ball. One of the other problems that we have, however, is how do I turn my hips? When we talk about a hip turn, generally the golfer is trying to turn their hips with the muscles in their hips. So that means they're using their bum and their lower back muscles to try and turn the hips. This isn't going to work because when you turn the hips, you're turning your entire weight and these muscles aren't big enough. On the contrary, we have muscles enough to turn our hips, our legs. When I push with my legs, I can turn my hips far simpler. The trick there is just to understand how the legs do it. We're using things we call shear forces. That means that the feet are pushing against the ground to actually get resistance to turn the hips. And what that in the gen general means is at the top of my golf swing, I want my left foot to push in this direction in order to get my left hip to go backwards. It's no different to a 100 meter runner who is actually pressing with his feet back in order to make his body go forward. That's the reason where they have these start blocks so that the athlete can push against the start block. So what we're trying to do at the top of the golf swing is to stop the right foot pushing us over and start with the left foot. So I'm pressing with the left foot in this direction around about 45 degrees to the target and that is pushing my left hip back out of the way. There is no need to think about weight transferal. When you take a backswing, you create pressure under the right foot because the right foot resists you wandering off the ball. You should have around about 70% more pressure right than left at the top of the backswing. So if you do nothing, then your right foot will push you laterally into the ball. That will not help. You've got to get these pressures even by pressing back with the left foot. Once the left foot actually pushes the hip past its starting position, the pressure from the right foot will move the right hip forward almost all by itself. If you can get this feeling for these sheer forces that your feet are using on the ground, then you'll find that your hips suddenly start to turn. If you stop thinking about transferring your weight and think more about changing the pressure under your feet, pressing against the right foot, pressing with the left foot to turn the hips, you're going to have far more success turning your hips in the golf swing.